On August 5, 1949, Thelma Taylor was waiting for a bus in Portland St. John's neighborhood with the intention of traveling to a nearby town for a summer job picking beans. During her wait, Thelma was approached by a 22-year-old ex-convict Morris Leland, who suggested they go to a secluded area near the Willamette River beneath the St. John's Bridge. Upon arrival, Leland attempted an assault but stopped upon realizing her virginity. As the morning of August 6 arrived, Taylor cried for help, and in response, Leland brutally bludgeoned her with a steel bar and stabbed her with a knife. He then disposed of the weapons, cleaned his fingerprints from Taylor's belongings, gathered his cigarette butts, and buried her in a shallow grave. In the early hours of August 11, Morris Leland was arrested by Portland police for car theft. He later confessed to kidnapping and killing Taylor. Charged with first-degree murder, he was executed in the gas chamber on January 9, 1953.